Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. I hope you are well. In the age of social media and influencer culture, it's not uncommon to witness public figures making statements that elicit strong reactions from their followers. Recently, Nas Daily, a popular YouTuber known for his 1-minute daily videos, made a statement about influencer Andrew Tate that has sparked confusion within the Muslim community on whom to follow and whom to reject. Nas Daily whose real name is Nasir Yasin was recently invited to a podcast of Mo Vlogs cautioned Muslims against being swayed by Andrew Tate's new found faith in Islam in his statement Nas asserted that Andrew Tate continues to live a life filled with sinful behavior even after embracing the Islamic faith Nas also said that Muslims should not be deceived by appearances and one must leave behind a sinful lifestyle to truly enter into Islam He also went ahead to say that if Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam would be alive right now he would have declared and labeled Tate as anti-Islamic. And you must yeah. not be like well he's one of us he became muslim well he no, preaches no but no, no, that's something that Which I, I, I think I've is always manipulated talked about i've always talked about that that religious side of things um look i obviously i'm not going to say it's a bad you, thing it's you know great it you know is. if he's a muslim for for islam great but i think i, I don't go it's with a okay, bad now. look for islam for this guy to be part of islam because he preaches materialism he preaches like like uh, but I, I talked to him about this i i talked to him when he came on the podcast and i told muslims him muslims should not And I, and I, and I, If Prophet Muhammad was alive today, he would look at Andrew Tate and say, "This is the anti-Islam." But why? Well, I, look, I have nice cars. So am I anti-Islam? No, because <laughs> well, I have nice cars. If he didn't adopt this, I'm a Muslim and I follow Islamic rules and laws now, yeah, then I'll be like, okay, it's fine. You can have a Bugatti and preach this stuff. That I don't care. I don't care. But to 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 go and pretend to be Muslim, have sex with women, drink alcohol, and do materialistic crap all the time, which is everything is anti-Islamic, right? Yeah. I think that's just like Look, fake. Many of us may agree or disagree with the statements of Nas. Still, we need to understand that the allegations Nas has put up upon Tate does not reflect the behavior of a believer because of many points. Firstly, Islam teaches us not to judge the intentions of others. We are no one to say that we know the hidden intention of someone unless he himself declares it so. Only and only Allah knows what lies in the hearts of people and we should refrain from making assumptions about someone's sincerity in their faith journey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran wa asiru qawlakum aw ijharu bih innahu alim bi dhati sudur secondly We as Muslims are strongly prohibited to backbite and slander someone. The act of speaking ill of someone behind their back, especially without concrete proof, is considered a grave sin and is one of the sins which leads to hellfire. Our religion places a heavy emphasis on guarding our tongues and using our speech to promote unity and goodness. يا ايها الذين امنوا اجتنبوا كثيرا من الظن ان بعض الظن اثم ولا تجسسوا ولا يغتب بعضكم بعضا أيحب أحدكم أن يأكل لحم أخيه ميتا فكرهتموه واتقوا الله إن الله تواب رحيم Furthermore, it's true that we Muslims should be cautious about blindly following any influencer or public figure regardless of what they display and what they choose to hide. Instead of placing our trust in such influencers, our ultimate guide should be the teachings and example of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He is the best example for us sent by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we Muslims should only take him as a perfect guide for our lives. لقد كان لكم في رسول الله أسوة حسنة لمن كان يرجو الله واليوم الآخر لمن كان يرجو الله واليوم الآخر وذكر الله كثيرا 
brothers and sisters, it's a reminder for all of us to be cautious about giving statements and not jump to conclusions about someone's faith or character. We should always wish good for others and make sincere du'as for their guidance and well-being. If someone is really misguiding the ummah and it is crystal clear, then only the learned scholars and da'i should step forward as to stop spreading misinformation. But if it is not the case, then one should refrain from it as much as possible. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide the Muslim ummah. Ameen. That's it for today brothers and sisters. I hope you liked the video. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. We would love to hear from you. Hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell. Share this video with your family and friends. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.